Okay, welcome to AR on AR. I'm Adam Rose, and today we're going to be looking at magnetic declination and magnetic inclination, or in other words, why my compass isn't listening to me, or why is my compass being so confusing? Okay, quick shout out to Bend Racing. Thank you for continuing to support the channel. Um, and for any of you buddy out there who needs some training in adventure racing, give them a call. They have training plans and all sorts of things to help you um, in your practicing of adventure racing. Okay, quick explanation. Magnetic inclination refers to the fact that your compass generally is not a universal compass. You can't use the same compass all around the world. And magnetic declination means what your compass points to north doesn't match up with what is truly north. True story. Okay, let's do magnetic inclination first. It's not a term that you'll often come across, but what it really refers to is the fact that your compass needle in the area you bought your compass, meaning this, I'm in the UK, I bought this compass in the UK, this compass, in order for it to function properly, needs to be held horizontal. And then the needle floats, you know, freely, and as I turn the base plate, the needle always points towards north. Now, the problem comes in that the magnetic field around the world is not consistent. It varies all over the place. And so in some places, uh, if I use this particular compass right here, it's gonna work properly. But if I take the same compass to another country, especially to a different hemisphere, down to the south, you know, South America, New Zealand, or something like that, the needle might dip. That's what we mean by inclination, it dips. And when it dips, it'll hit the surface, it'll hit the base plate in this case, and then it's not floating freely. So when I turn the base plate, the needle will move with the base plate, which is not what should happen, right? The needle should always stay pointing towards north. So in essence, we're saying, when you go to race, in a different country, make sure your compass is balanced for that location, okay? And usually we can separate that simply into north and south hemispheres. Um, you will find on, uh, online, for example, you'll say, I want a, a, a compass that's balanced for South America or balanced for Australia or balanced for Russia. Now, there are actually seven magnetic zones around the world, broadly speaking, north uh, hemisphere, south hemisphere, and really just make sure that you get a compass that's balanced for where the race is taking place. So let's talk about magnetic declination. What we're talking about is there is a place known as north, true north, which is a specific location in the North Pole in the Arctic. It's a specific place on the planet. That is the North Pole. And ideally, the compass points at exactly that place, right? The magnetic needle also points to the same north, but that's not what actually happens. Um, unfortunately, depending on where you are on the Earth, this magnetic needle might be wrong. Instead of pointing at true north, it points at magnetic north. Okay, let's say straight ahead of me is true north. In certain countries or certain locations, this needle might be pointing too much to the east, or it might be pointing too much to the west. Okay, and that is the magnetic declination that I'm talking about. So magnetic north is kind of not aligned with true north. In some countries or in some locations, it will be very, very closely aligned. And the UK is one of those places. So the declination or the difference between true north and magnetic north is so small that when I use this compass, I don't even think about magnetic declination in the UK. Okay, but if I go to some other countries, then it becomes a real issue. So if I take a compass bearing, you know, you're supposed to line up the magnetic needle on here, the north needle on here, with the north grid lines on the map, but this is wrong in some countries, in essence. You know, it's pointing too far to the, the west or too far to the east. Well, then they're not going to match up. Okay, just to help you understand the concept, here I have a small pumpkin representing the earth, and the green pushpin at the top represents true north, and the blue pushpin represents magnetic north. So there we can see the difference of magnetic declination. Now it's going to depend where you are on the Earth as to how big that angle difference is between those two points. So right now, if I'm in the UK, uh, magnetic north and true north line up almost in a straight line. So the magnetic declination is of no consequence. Whereas some other countries around the world, uh, magnetic north will be off to the west, to the left of true north. And in other countries, uh, magnetic north will be off to the east or the right of true north. So you'll have to compensate for that. So for example, 
If I go to Cape Town in South Africa right now, the magnetic declination is 25 degrees to the west. And just by the way, west we call negative and east we call positive. Okay, so it's not simply east and west, it's negative and positive. That means any compass bearing I take in Cape Town will be pointing wrong. It'll be pointing too far to the west. So to compensate for that, I need to know the magnetic declination. I need to know it's minus 25 degrees. So any bearing I take to bring, it, to bring the needle back to what is true north, I've got to add 25 degrees. And negative declination needs to be added to the bearing. So I'm in Cape Town. If I took a bearing to 150 degrees, to get it to be facing or in line with the map, I need, I need to add 25 degrees. So 150 bearing becomes 175. And now that, that compensates for the needle being off, so that's the actual bearing I need to take based on the, the compass. Yeah? Um, if I was in Fiji, at Eco Challenge Fiji, uh, the declination there was 12 and a half degrees east. It was a positive declination. So to get the magnetic needle in Fiji to be lined up with the map, I'd have to subtract those 12 and a half degrees. All right, and, and within a specific region, let's just say America, uh, the magnetic declination in Los Angeles is different from Las Vegas, is different from San Francisco, is different from, I don't know, Portland, Oregon. So what you should do is do your homework before you go to a specific race and find out what is the magnetic declination for that specific location. And you can do that by literally going to some websites. I'll make it really easy nowadays. And I'll leave those uh, a couple of URLs anyway in the description below. But in essence, you can go and put in the location that you're going to and find out what that declination is and if it's a positive one or a negative one and how that's going to affect your compass bearings. Now, to make it a little bit more interesting, the declination is not constant. It is not fixed. So I talked about Cape Town being minus 25. It changes all the time. So when you look at a map, the, the, the grid lines are supposed to point towards north. But over time, the magnetic declination is shifting and shifting and shifting and shifting. So when you get a map, and this is not the case in all maps. Here are some race maps that don't have any mention of the declination on them. Um, here I've got um, maps from another race. Um, I, you know, pretty much most of the race maps from the races I've attended don't mention the declination. So I had to find it out myself before I went to the race. And that was just doing my homework. And also uh, these maps, for example, don't have the date. So, um, you know, as a, as a good navigator, you need to know this stuff. And if the declination, let's say in Cape Town, going back to that example, let's say currently it's minus 25, um, or, you know, five years ago, it might've been minus 20, or it might've been 30. I mean, I don't know if it, is, if it is increasing or decreasing, going more to the west and more to the east, but the point is the date of the map is important because it'll tell you what the declination was on that date and it should also mention on the map how much it changes every year like one degree every year or half a degree every year or the third of a degree every year so when you're armed with the date of the map and the declination and how much it adjusts you can then compensate accordingly now this can all be a bit like oh i don't even want to think about all these things because in the middle of a race you know you're just trying to work out what your compass bearings are you don't want to work out how much to add or how much to subtract and i can't remember positive and negative and all those kind of things so an easy solution I've demonstrated here. On this map, we have the grid lines that were printed on the map, which pointed towards north, true north. But I want the north on here to match the north on the compass. They're not in alignment, right? This has got declination. It's pointing towards a magnetic north. This is pointing to true north. So what I did is I drew these pink lines on the map with a little arrow indicating north. So the magnetic north on the compass matches the magnetic north I've drawn on the map. So if these two are in agreement, I don't have to worry about declination at all. Simple solution. No calculations have to be done during the race. Um, also, I recommend that, you know, the fact that they've got little arrows, it's not simply a line, it's got an arrow. That way, in the middle of the race, if um, I've got the map upside down or whatever, I can just look, where's the arrow? You know, wh which direction actually is north? Because if you look to the map over here, you can see you can't see any arrows on this side. So I could quite easily, in the heat of battle, have this thing upside down. Okay, so ideally, you put arrows on the magnetic north that you've drawn. 
Okay, hopefully that was useful. Magnetic declination, magnetic inclination, both things that can affect your race drastically. You arrive at a race with the wrong compass for the wrong hemisphere, or you don't know that your compass is uh, magnetic north is not matching up with the map north. You can end up in a world of pain. Okay, uh, so thanks very much for watching. Hopefully this is useful. Obviously lots more coming down the pipeline. Um, just trying to fit it all in. <laughs> you know what it's like, life is busy, um, but yeah. One a week, uh, I hope to keep that uh, schedule. Uh, I can't promise which particular day I'm gonna release these things, but yeah, one a week. See you on the next one. Thank you, bye.